Good day guys, welcome to Australia, it's Queensland, Australia, to Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube. Um, I'm going to use a canvas that I previously scraped in the week because I wasn't happy with it at all, so it has got a little bit of paint left on it, but that's absolutely fine because it kind of acts a bit like um, an undercoat, which most of the canvases here in Australia come pre-gessoed so pre-treated with a couple of coats of, of basically it's an undercoat so 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 i am going to attempt a figure eight pour uh, i'm trying to perhaps do a bit of uh, jungly colors in the uh, greens and um, different greens and a bit of orangey sort of yeah, to kind of get like a camo effect. I'm not sure. We all have to just see, I suppose. But um, my thought was to uh, use my jug. Got the bottom of my jug, it's all good. Um, use my jug to load my colours. And I'll go from there. And I'll explain as I'm going along. My paints today are the um, Montmartre Studio Acrylics um, and I'm using the Montmartre uh, PVA, clear PVA glue but all of my suppliers links and my recipe is all in the drop down box so everything is covered there. I've even got a few links to beginners videos. I have a link to uh, gloss coating your paint works so i'm trying to cover everything now from the questions that i do get repeatedly asked so okay this was the montmartre orange and i added a lot of yellow to it to brighten it up so kind of hope it really to get like a giraffe color i suppose oh whether it will turn out like that I have no idea so that's just white with a it did have a little bit of gold added but this is gold so so I'm going to start adding a few greens here so this is like a teal teal green so it was the turquoise and I just added blue to it so so um, what can I put in between that? I might start adding some of this. It's the real dark chocolate brown, which was burnt. It was burnt umber, and I added a good blob of black to send it real nice chocolatey colour, which I love, 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 love. So much nicer than actual black, and so much nicer than just plain old brown. Go a bit of the white in here. So I'm obviously going to end up with that orange last. So I will have to start adding a little bit more of that. Just using up the last of this gold. It is a metallic gold. And golds, uh, metallic colours do have to be mixed quite a bit thicker. Because they seem to sink to the bottom of your canvas. Uh, yeah, sink to the bottom of your canvas, that's right question in my own self here but this is kind of like a fleshy color but I made this up myself out of white and just added some of the orange to it so and then oh, I might just go back to this teal green again So I've got some yummy colours in there. So it's kind of like a mega jug pour, but um, I put a little bit of the bright orange. I love how this orange comes out when you add yellow to it. Really nice and bright. So I make a lot of custom colours. So that'll be the white will come out first. All right, all righty, do this. Uh, 
I'm sure it will morph into something completely unlike what I had in mind. I might just tip a little bit of the white on the very edges, just so I don't, I don't usually worry about my edges because I, I always correct them at the end and they're fine, but I can understand some people get stressed out if they haven't tilted over their edges and so on, but I don't really worry about that because it can all be fixed. It, everything can be fixed. Remember my art room? The rule is there's no rules. No rules. Just giving, hopefully just giving you a little bit of guidance on your art journey and if you're a beginner or you, you know, just haven't done this technique before, I haven't done it either too many times so I'm learning with you as I go, which is what I like to do. I like to think on my feet when a problem occurs with the particular pour, I love the I don't know, I just love the, well, working out of what am I going to do here now. So, here we go. Mega jug, but I'm going to do figure eight. My figure, no, actually I shouldn't say that, because my figure eight always turns out like spaghetti. So I'll go. Come on, keep it up. I could do these a lot closer together, but so like I said, my figure eight turns out like spaghetti. I'll keep it up, keep going, keep the momentum. So it's a big figure eight. I actually love those colours together. I love the dark chocolate, teal, orange. Beautiful. I'm going to just keep working it up and down the canvas in the figure. Eight-ish. Spaghetti-ish. I should call it my spaghetti paw, shouldn't I? Because I certainly can't seem to keep the figure eight thing going. I'll do some big figure eighty things here. Oh, now I've gone off spaghetti-ish. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. So that was a nice big jug dump, keep going, look at all the interesting things happening in it already, just do some little, because these I know are going to be poured off but it just puts some paint on the edge so I'm not too worried, oh I love those colours together, love them, uh, just a little tip with your, um, oh I've got one here just one second with your jug when you've got it like that instead of trying to wash it out or do anything with it if you put one of your stirrer sticks and and slap it to the side where the paint is and leave it like that just tilted and leave it to dry when you come to uh, when it's dry you can the you pull your stick back like this and all the paint and then it, because it's attached to the bottom, it just lifts the whole lot out of the jug. So much fun. It's even better than squeezing a pimple. So, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I say the most ridiculous things, I'm sorry. It's just me. It's how I am. Oh, look at this going on here. Wow, okay. I've got my silicon mat, my Love life, love Eve. Well, no, I don't know what it's saying, but this you can um, either scrape your paints up afterwards or you can uh, make skins out of your dried stuff. Wow, I love those colors, I really do. I don't think I've done one of these colours for a while now, so I'm hoping you um, like this too. But anyway, I haven't finished yet, so it could certainly go downhill from here. <laughs> Just gently taking it nice and easy. Easy, easy peasy. 
quite interesting. I'm just walking it back down the canvas so we don't lose too much paint or uh, the other thing is, is so the paint doesn't uh, all congregate at one area. So I'm trying to walk it down the canvas a little bit. But it's turning into some weird creatures appearing in here. I'll point them out soon. Soon, soon. I'll probably tilt them off, but that's oh look at this i think this paint i've mixed was probably a bit thick to do this particular style of pour because you really need to be able to move it quite easily and quickly over your canvas but um you live and learn and i'm still learning so something new every day probably added a bit too much of that dark brown because it seems to be taking over it but I'm not particularly worried at all okay certainly didn't end up being my jungly look I should keep my big mouth closed at the beginning because what I have in mind never usually turns out to be but usually something <laughs> gets created that's stunning okay it's quite dark mysterious be back with you i'm just going to hook up my little wand or heat wand love my little heat wand now instead of my butane torch just loving the heat wand so here we go okay what i will tell you some of you may just love it like this and it is developing into something that's looking geographical um this here and there could very well be a really nice embellishment put into this but i'm going to um, see what happens when i use the little heat torch on it so here goes I want to see what happens in these darker areas, more so than anything. Kind of looking out of space. Excuse me. <coughs> oh dear. Had a cough that I just can't seem to shake. <coughs> okay. It's looking pretty galactic, isn't it? Well, for a figure eight figure eight it's not great think 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 what would you do from this point I'm not sure what time it is on the video but it would be interesting if you let me know what you think I could have done at this point or leaving it was the best bet it would be interesting um, I'm really feeling like I want to swipe it because I'm not overly happy with it. I tell you what, I'm going to go away for 10 minutes. I'm going to see what occurs in it. And I absolutely know that there's somebody that will love it. Um, and it would definitely sell. But when you're just feeling yourself as the artist that something else can could be done... Um, I don't know, I'm walking away now, it's beginning to grow on me. So let me, please let me know, kindly, uh, what you think of it, uh, what you think could have been done with it. I'm always interested to read people's comments. I might not be able to write back to every single one of you, but 
there you go I might come back if I do not come back wait until the end for the bonus bits because there will be I will just post um, the photos of the dried results on there so if I don't come back thank you guys for joining me I truly appreciate each and every one of you uh, thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the notification button so you get a little reminder that I put something up new I am continually researching and in in my brain of what I can try next and getting inspiration in all sorts of places for different uh, art techniques and, and things to bring to you so I'm ever changing and evolving so bye for now people okay I'm back I'm back I wasn't happy with it I tilted it right off because there was so much paint I've created this ghost effect over it can you see my little ghosties and now I've poured the bright orange because I want to put back some brightness in this art the only person you have to please is yourself when you're doing your art so I say okay only rule is there's no rules and that's my art room rules so I'm gonna go for it with this bright orange swipe through it I'm gonna see what I get I might make it look like a dog's breakfast or a pig's pudding as my mum used to say I don't know what a pig looking like a pig's pudding it must be a mess is I think what she meant um, I think I might get some really interesting effects it's quite all the time I do these and then uh, I might leave and think no I've got to leave it but then when I carry on I'm like oh mg I'm always like oh I'm so glad I did that so I hope this is one of those times people I can see I've got some fantastic worms coming up I haven't actually got worms myself but I've got some worms coming up in my paw okay Ugh. art you've got to love it it's a brilliant brilliant therapy session so much cheaper than therapy than paid therapy um, I believe because it just gives you your time with you and your you and your thoughts and all these uh, almost 40,000 people subscribe to my channel so I've got to remember I'm sharing all this with you guys too so you're in with me and my art session or my therapy session uh, just a quick tizzle tizzle twizzle tizzle twizzle I haven't even had a drink and I'm talking double Dutch so soft plastic file divider my best ever little swipey tool oh gosh gosh what did that why did that happen I think I'm making mud <laughs> I'm not going well here uh, maybe this might not be one of the best pours I have done but I'm still gonna persist with it I'm not gonna give up I think I will be known as the artist that never gave up on a pour. I'll just keep going. So I think I'm making a little bit muddy and I know uh, that that's what... Oh, I forgot to wipe my... Now I'm getting too um, anxious with it. I've got to slow myself down, slow my breathing down, not worry about what others may think of it because as I said my art room my rules but there's some really interesting things starting to show up so I'm gonna just give it a little go over with my heat torch see what I can bring up 
I hate one. Wonder one. Okay, I'm not going to do any more. Get accused of too many cells. Too many cells, Jill. Too many cells. Okay. Not looking crash hot. It may be good to embellish down the centre, which I'm going to do. So I'm not going to listen to you guys shouting, no, no, no. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to embellish down the centre. Okay. Definitely looking like the khaki paw. It's gone a weird shade, shade of green and grey. So just keep off 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 centre my balloon kiss. Balloon kiss. Keep going. Just adding some interest down the centre. Off centre, should I say? The balloon dips, kisses, dips and kisses, kisses and rolls. Okay. Oh. Okay. I agree. I've made a mess of it. I'm going to keep going with it though. I've got to not give up on it. It's strange because the pores that have really give me some grief and then I thought, oh gosh, that looks like a pig's breakfast have turned out some of the nicest. So, not particularly that I've loved them, but they've sold because somebody else loved them. So, moral of the story is okay I'm leaving it I'm going I'm, I'm not I'm going I'm leaving it promise 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 let me know what you think I'm sure you will thank you so much for joining me bye for now